St. Patrick's Day parades in my family are a big thing. Uh, my dad started the St. Patrick's Day parade in 67 in St. Paul, Minnesota. And then um, in his honor, my sister started the Madison, Wisconsin St. Patrick's Day parade in 97. French kiss though, not an Irish kiss. Huh? And uh, so basically I've been here about seven years wondering what the deal is. We don't have a parade, but we all say we celebrate St. Patty's Day. Um, and I'm a big community fan, so I wanted to make something of that. Um, a very large percentage of the people that live here in Hilo, whether they admit to it or not, are Irish. They've been here for quite some time. <laughs> I've met some interesting Irish Hawaiians. <laughs> yeah, Hilo always rains. Uh, a mix of community. We have many horses that came um, out to actually march in the parade and carry a few people that will be part of the parade today. Um, we have three or four bands that will be on floats. Um, playing live music. We have two different bagpipers, one that flew in from Maui to be part of the parade, um, Allison Jackson of the Maui Pipe Band, and um, we have a convertible, we have our Grand Marshal. Hi, Brody! Lay Jack Sagawa is the perfect example of, um, <laughs> I'm choking up, <laughs> uh, what's good about community. Uh, what it takes to be someone who furthers your community um, without any question you know just an all-out advocate for the people a good friend someone who will always be there um, and she has pictures of everything that's happened in Hilo for the past like ever ever since I've been here seven years so uh, I love her to death and I think she should lead Hilo in the movement and uh, yes yeah, easy choice I knew already she was the one Huh?